Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel No Networks. In tutorial number 6 of F5 Big IP LTM series, we will see about server load balancing. So, server load balancing is a technology that distributes high traffic sites among several servers using a network based hardware or software defined appliances. And just to add a note over here for your information, when the load balancing is done across a multiple geolocations, the intelligent distribution of traffic is referred to as a global server load balancing, GSLB. So the servers can be on premises in companies owned data center or hosted in a private cloud or the public cloud. Server load balancer intercepts traffic for a website and reroutes that traffic to servers. As you can see over here, we have a load balancer. So the traffic which is coming through a user, the request which is coming through the user is intercepted by the load balancer and then forwarded to the web server. And then the response from the web server goes to the load balancer and load balancer responds to the queries of the users sitting outside. Server load balancing provides network services and content delivery using a series of load balancing algorithms, which we are going to understand in the coming tutorials. It prioritizes responses to the specific request from clients over the network. Server load balancing distributes client traffic to server to ensure consistent high performance application delivery. So in short, server load balancing ensures application delivery, scalability, reliability, and high availability. So guys, there are a few terms and terminologies which you must understand. In the coming labs, when we will be doing a hands-on labs on the F5 Big IP LTM, at that time, you will come across these terms and terminologies. And it is very much important for you people to understand this so let's understand one by one what is client node pool pool member and virtual server starting with the client what is client client is the machine which send connections or requests to f5 load balancer to access web server pool as per our network lab topology not network as per our lab topology we have a client machine right which is connected to the external interface of your f5 load balancer this is the client which has an ip address of 172 series as per our lab topology so it it is connected to the external interface this is what this said that client is a machine which send connection or request to f5 load balancer to access the web server pool what is the node? Node is the individual server device in a server pool configured on a file load balancer. A node can be a member of multiple server pool. Let's understand this. See, the node is a server. Node is basically nothing but a server configured on a file load balancer. If you will see, no, you have node 1, node 2, node 3. This we will be configuring on FI load balancer. How we will configure? We will see when we will be doing a lab. So, over here, the node 1 has FTP connections. Node 3 has web connections. But the, this is not the case with node 2. Node 2 have FTP connections as well as web connections. And basically, the FTP connections, so the node which is has FTP connection, is coming under a pool called FTP pool. What is pool? We will understand in the next term. So we have designated node 1 as it is coming under FTP pool. Node 3 is coming under web server pool. But the node 2 is a member of FTP pool as well as web server pool. So basically, a node can be a member of multiple server pool. So in short, on particular one node, you can run multiple services and you can make it a member of multiple server pool. What is pool? Pool is a group of servers. Devices configured on a file load balancer for certain services or application. We identify the pool on its service or application. So, as you can see over here, the pool is a group of server. A group of servers 
running a specific services like all these servers are running a web services so we have designated it as web server pool what is pool member it is very clearly understood a group of pool will uh, a member which is in the specific pool will be a pool member when a node we assign to a specific pool then it become a member of that pool pool member are identified on the basis of its ip address and server ports now as in this case you can see that the node one that is web server is a pool member one the web server with pool member two web server with pool number three and they are identified using an ip address and the server ports and one of the important terminology is a virtual server last but not the least virtual server is hypothetically configured on fi load balancer and all external site clients send the traffic on this virtual server ip address for web servers connected on internal side of fi load balancer it is identified with its ip address and server ports so as you can see let's say consider our scenario where we have a client connected to the external interface over here now this particular client want to re access this web services so for accessing this web services the client which is sitting on the external interface won't be calling the ip address of this servers directly because it is connected to the external interface and basically what it will do is it will if it want to reach to the web server pool it will call the services using a virtual server ip why we are using a virtual server ip and not the physical interface ip that we will understand when we will be doing a lab in the next tutorial but just for your understanding remember that whenever a client who want to reach to the internal services uh, they will be calling a service using a virtual server ip address and it the virtual server is identified with its ip address and service ports that's all guys in this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial